The Lagos state government on Tuesday held a town hall meeting with residents in the state. The meeting, which was presided over by Governor Akinwomi Ambodi, was held at the Apapa Amusement Park in Apapa. The governor addressed the residents on issues ranging from traffic decongestion to infrastructure development. It is the 11th time in his three-year tenure as governor of Lagos State that Akinwomi Ambodi will be holding a town hall meeting of this nature with residents of the state. The town hall meeting provides a platform for residents to interact with the governor and raise issues they need to be resolved. To open proceedings, the governor gives a brief address highlighting the importance of the gathering. It's the ones that we have not done or the ones we have not done well that the town hall conversation should really relate to. So we don't want to waste our time. So basic stuff, the things that we have done in the last three months, combined with the things that we have done in the last three years, we give God the thanks for giving us the chance to be able to do it for our people. So what are those things that we can actually ask the real people to tell us about? Yes, this is an election year, but what we have told ourselves, we will not stop delivering goods of, of, of uh, the, the dividends of democracy to our people. He then touches on the important issues of traffic decongestion in the state, saying he has concluded plans to take over Abat Truck Terminal at Orile Igomu and commence immediate repairs on the terminal to ease the notorious gridlock around the Apapa axis. The issue of uh, this Apapa gridlock, all the people that are connected to it are here. We're going to be as practical as possible and we try to take a solution away from here so that when we implement it, the real life and status of our papa will come back before the end of this year. Part of the solution, which I'm going to start with before we start doing question and answer, is the Abad truck terminal, which is the Bola Metinubu truck terminal that is in that Ijora. We believe strongly that that's one of our strong solutions to this gridlock. So we've cleared the shanties, and the way we are trying to run it, we'll be able to take at least 3,000 trucks in the park. After his address, a deluge of questions pours in. We congratulate you for doing all what you have been doing in Lagos area and some other area, but we would like you to do something for a papa similar to what you are doing in other uh, local government. The governor then responds, highlighting some of his plans for infrastructure development in the area and the state as a whole. Far Daini Road. So the economic value that this road is going to bring, I can hear from the floor that it will create more social impact and the road will be more impactful on our people than any other thing. And I think we take this on as our additional construction work for this, for this year. We want to start using the road and then open it up from um, Aspanda, where is Aspanda? Trade Fair Complex to CMS. So we're going to try before the end, in the next six months or so, to open up the road from Orile Mile 2 to Chafe Complex and make sure that we're applying that route with our buses from Chafe Complex to CMS. And that will want, because we cannot wait until the road is finished is to cement. So let's start to use the one that we already have. Governor Ambody addressed the issue of the growing population in Nigeria. He advised residents in Lagos to register for their voters' card so they can prove that Lagos is indeed the most populated state in the country. This coming election is a different one. We want to define once and for all where the population of Nigeria lies. <laughs> okay. 
So it's not just about APC or about any other party or about people who are not interested. We want to use the PVC to send a message that the real population is in Lagos State. There are still three more town hall meetings expected to be conducted by the Lagos State government before the 2019 elections. The governor is expected to seek another term of office and will need the support of the people. Meetings like this go a long way in fostering better relationship between the government and the electorates.